Well, I, I would have to, to see the circumstance. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not inclined to believe we're setting precedents. We're talking about this single piece of property. Um, and I think we, we have to express a little flexibility. I don't think the UDO is engraved in stone. Aren't we supposed to go by what the rules are? These very these findings come from NCGS visitor attachments. That's so not all. You have to meet one, two, three, four findings. If you cannot meet all four, you should not read the Yeah, but I, I understand that. Uh, I think what Linda is saying is we have to stick with our best forms, because that's what the UDO says. Um, my feeling is. Uh, so the question is, is it a necessary hardship? Each, each, each of the four. Well, which we 
I'll tell you, read it out. If it comes for number one, I'm going to say all right, that would result or would not result. Okay. And you pick which one. And then you get that that's why for each one. Uh, there's a complication here. Uh, I think twofold. The last sentence under the required finding in the first paragraph says, no reasonable use can be made for property. It's my understanding that that was thrown out by the uh, legislature years ago. I was originally trained on that phrase, um, and then I found out that the legislature changed the rules. You don't have to determine reasonable use. And it says it shall not be necessary to demonstrate that in the absence of variance, no unreasonable uh, use. So and the second part of the complication is the town attorney is not here this evening, and he could interpret that, and I specifically requested that he be present. He could not. Well, that's unacceptable. If he's going to represent the town, he has to be here to represent the town. That's good. It's the office decision, if you want to continue this again, wait for the town attorney, that's what the y'all the board. Well, I want to remind to uh, to halt the proceedings for the evening, uh, postpone it for another month, and get the town attorney in here. He's awesome. supposed to be here. And I don't think this phrase reasonable use is, uh, is legal anymore. I think it was a big show. Can we can look into that. Uh, <coughs> that's a good term. But it, you got the board, so. Because the way I read this paragraph, if, if you remove the uh, no reasonable use uh, clause there. It just says the hardship would result from strict application of the ordinance. And what we're trying to do is seek a variance to the ordinance. And this is precisely the time when the town attorney should be present. So the town attorney will be uh, present to, hear, to, to answer our questions. Could you repeat the motion, uh, of Robert Hummer, please? I, I move that we continue this hearing for one month so we can have the town attorney present so he can better answer our questions. Uh, I could a second that motion. Second. Is there any discussion? All, right. All in favor of the motion, uh, say aye. Aye. All right, the motion passes. Uh, I apologize.